Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I highlight and contour my face. Um, the way I do it is really simple and easy. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I do is I use my e.l.f. shadow, which I use as a highlighter. It's really good for that. And I like using my fingers. So I take both colors and then I put it right under my eye, getting it as close to my waterline as possible. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And I try to make it as even as I can. And then um, I go back later to clean it up when I'm through with everything. And then you want to go down the center of your nose and you can make your line as thick as you want depending on how far apart you want your contouring to be. And then you want to go a little above the center of your eyebrows and you want to highlight there too. And like dabbing it on. And then the chin, you don't want to put too much highlighter on the chin. And then lastly, Cupid's bow. So for contouring, I use my BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette. I use the dark brown color I'm pointing to there. And this is the brush I use to contour my cheeks. So you want to suck your cheeks in, which makes it easier to see your natural cheekbone, shadow, line, whatever you would like to call it. And then you want to shade along that line and then shade up. And it's totally up to you how dark you want um, your cheek contouring to be. I like mine pretty dark, so I um, shade it quite a lot but um, it's totally up to you and don't forget to shade upward do not shade downward Make sure they're even. And then to contour my nose, I use that tiny brush and I'm going back with the same color. And you want to make your contouring line right next to um, your highlighting line. You want to shade the bottom of your nose. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. I usually don't start all the way from the top of my nose until I'm done um, shading the bottom and then I go up. So next you want to start from the top of your contouring, your contour line and you want to bring it up all the way to your brow bone and do the same thing on the other side. You want to make sure you don't have too much shadow on your brush because you want these lines to be very faint. still noticeable, so keep go, going back over that line. And then you want to blend your contouring line down so it's not as harsh. And make sure to do this part very, very well because it's very noticeable from your side profile and it's not cute if it's not shaded fully. This part is optional, but I like um, also contouring the sides of my Cupid spell. 
and I like blending it with my fingers because it's so much easier to do it that way as opposed to using a brush for that small part of your face. Then I'm going in with a blush brush. I'm gonna blend in the contouring on my cheekbones and the highlighting under my eyes. And I'm also gonna lightly blend in the top of my forehead and then use my fingers to blend that out further. And the next thing I use for my highlighter is my MAC Skin Finish Mineralize. And this is in the color dark. It's coming off a little lighter than it actually is. So again, I'm gonna use this to highlight under my eyes. And it's totally up to you how highlighted you want your face. I like mine a little more highlighted than um, it was before, so that's why I decided to go in with this skin finish. And I lightly do my forehead. And then my chin. And then I go back under my eyes because I wasn't satisfied. And then my forehead again. And then I take a small brush and use the same highlighter for my cupid spell. And for the bridge of my nose as well. And this will tone down the shimmer of the first highlighter I used a bit. And I use my blush brush again to um, just clean up my work. You really want to make sure everything is blended out very well. And then I'm gonna go back to the first highlighter I used and go under my eyes again, because I still wasn't satisfied. I am done. Bye guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.